If you're farming Asta or Pacifica manually, you are leaving money on the table. I just found a tool that farms 10x the volume and it is completely legal. This tool also carries no directional risk. And the tool I'm talking about is TreadFi, which connects all of your decentralized exchange perpetual accounts and farms for you. Once connected, their market maker bot or their Delta neutral bot will place hundreds of trades per hour for you all automatically while you sleep and can generate millions upon millions of volume. And even with a small account of under four figures, you can place within the top 1,000 on some of these leaderboards. And not just that, they also have a points campaign live of their own. So in this video, I'll show you exactly how to set up this bot to fund Tread points, but also Pacifica points and Asta points, as well as a few other perpetual exchanges. So loading up the Twitter for this account, you can see it is criminally underrated, under 3000 followers at the time of recording. And I'm sure this will shoot up in the future as it is currently still in kind of a private beta and a lot of the features you do need a code. And as well as this, I'll have my article which keeps updated with any more changes which happen with the project. So we're going to dive straight into it. I've left a link with a sign up code in the article and the description and you will need this in order to join. And as you can see, it's right there. But once you load up the platform, you're going to want to log in. And I made an account, but you can connect straight with your wallet. And that's probably a lot easier in a lot of circumstances. I'm just going to log in right now. So once you've logged in and you've used a code, you will see a dashboard like this. And it does look a bit overwhelming for a lot of data, maybe a bit more than you're used to on your traditional Pacifica or Asta, where you can just, you know, simply open it to trade, set your position and it's done. But that is not efficient and that's not going to move us up the leaderboard. That's why we need to use a tool like this. So as you can see, I have already connected my accounts, but you will not have connected any yet. You're going to want to connect these platforms so right now as i said they have pacifica asta and paradex as our perp exchanges which have airdrop campaigns going on but they will have more in the future and the team you know they just have to figure it out with the teams in order to get them there's two ways to add wallets first of all we can click on the wallets and you can import them in or you can click on portfolio and it's very very simple to do this all you have to do to connect your wallets is Go on the little wallet icon, come down to where it says connect to that particular wallet. And from here, you click connect, make sure you're signed into the wallet uh, on that exchange. So whatever your MetaMask account is or your Phantom, obviously for Pacifica, connect that and your account will be imported into the dashboard. And now you've aggregated all those different accounts, which are, you know, easy to forget and everything. They're all in one place. So once you've done that, you're ready to go. And you will see the primary trade dashboard. And it's like your, as I said, your other dashboards, but kind of a lot more customizability and you have a lot more flexibility over what you do. And to me, I've not really played around with this much, to be honest, but they do have a lot on offer. You, first of all, whatever you do, you select your specific account you're going to trade with. So I'm going to select the Fika. This is one of the main airdrops I'm going. We have the pair BTC USD selected. And you can put an amount in here. So 0.01 is about $100. And from here, they have their list of strategies. So they have their market maker. They have their impact minimization. You can set a limit price. And a bunch of other features. But again, this is not what I want to focus on just now. Maybe in the future, we'll talk about this. But what I wanted to speak about was the bot features they have. So if you head over to bots, you'll see market maker bot and delta neutral bot. And these are a lot more automated. You literally put in a few parameters and they go and they basically, they're not buying and set, they're not buying the token, hoping it goes up and then maybe the price falls and you lose money. Instead, how it works is creating a lot of limit orders and a lot of sell orders and longs and shorts, basically. And your with all these positions, you're making, you're paying some fees on both sides, but with the price movements, if it's in a certain range, you will say pretty much neutral on your positions. They do have the options for if you want think the trend is generally up or down or sideways, but I'll get into that in a minute. So I do have a bit more of a description in my article, but you do need at least 500 to $1,000 per bot to do this minimum. And that's just because of the amount of uh left in your account for the margin and then they have a few modes a few leverage options but what you're doing is basically placing 
a lot of positions, limit orders on both sides of the book. And this acts as providing liquidity. So you are like a market maker. So when you first load up the site, this bot section, this market maker section will not be available to you. You do need to get a code. And sadly, I do not have any of them right now. I will see if I can get my hands on some. And of course I will link them. But what you have to do right now is head into the Discord, which I will have linked in the description. And you'll basically have to go in the Alpha Codes channel and they drop some in there. And then when you get that, you can put it in and you'll be able to sign up and see this section. And I probably should have said at this point, if you haven't signed up to Pacifica, Paradex, to Asta, I will have codes to all of them at the moment. But right now, Paradex and Pacifica are the kind of more hopeful airdrops for these two. But going back to TreadFi, this is where it's just super simple. So I'm going to select my account, Pacifica for this example. This is our budget and this is how much we are willing to spend on fees being the market maker. So for this budget, I will just put 10, I'll put $5 right now. And you'll see some calculations go on right now. First of all, this volume will be set. And this is how much volume we will generate with this particular budget with this pair. And if I up this, this number will go up, but also a lot of other changes will happen. So our available margin, that is always going to remain the same, but our recommended margin will change based on the leverage we choose and the budget. So right now we have BTC per USDC 10x. And now I'll just speak about the token selection. So again, only tried a few, but different tokens have different kind of fees associated with them and different volatilities, which can affect how profitable or how much you end up losing. So I recommend sticking with the main popular ones, BTC, ETH, Solana. And I recommend a, as another point, only choosing these tokens when they are fairly stable or trending sideways. Again, this is, you know, just based off a little bit of testing, but if the price is just com trending completely down and you're trying to open a position which is normal or, or neutral, sorry, you could end up taking more losses than is necessary with the way the position is made. But I will show you now. So I'm just going to set $5 here and I can, I can up the leverage because as you can see, our recommended and available margin are very, very different. So I'll just put 15x right there just so we can see how it works. And as you can see, that actually dropped my uh, recommended margin a bit. And what I'm going to do is set normal on the execution mode. And this is the speed at which the market maker book will run. So aggressive will optimize for speed and quote tighter, while passive will optimize for larger spreads. So we are going to have that on normal and for directional bias, I'm going to leave this on neutral as well. So next, all I have to do is click start trading and it will get going and we can actually start this, then head over to uh, Pacifica and we can see what it has done. If I refresh the page that uh, should load up into my history. So there we go. And we can see how much is filled, data is active and it has got started. So over to the platform now and it should automatically load in. And you can see these open orders. So this is what we want to see. It has opened limit orders. So that is prices. Currently, you can see the prices are 103 and just right around the price with both a long and a short. And as you can see, only the short got triggered with that, that leverage position size. So now I have again, a bunch more open orders, three longs, some shorts, and I'm not controlling these, but if we zoom into the chart, we can see them and it's doing what it said. It has made positions around the current price, which is trending sideways and it's opening a lot, closing a lot. And if I go in my trade history, we will also see some of these closing as well. You can see a few red ones right there, but you know, some will be red, some will be green. And now the final thing to look at now that is running, is this tab for seeing how you know this position is doing so i can simply click on it and i will be brought to a tab where i get a bit more in depth about this order you can see the percent is done my exposure how long it will take to complete so that has now completed and if i head over to my order history you can see the list of all of these orders which have now gone through Obviously, we took a bit of a realized loss on all of them because we have the fees and these are opening and closing very quick, but it worked as intended. We've had our budget in, we had 
our pair, we had our platform and we generated an amount of volume and this all happened. So what my plan is for the immediate future right now is test this platform more, try different combinations, different fees, different token pairs, different settings, seeing if it's even possible to make a profit or if I should just be hammering as much volume as possible as Pacifica has weekly snapshots with their points. So even if this tool gets, you know, more popular or more people start using Pacifica, if you farm right now on the platform, the points for this week will, you know, have limited competition. As we know, there is only a certain amount of users using the platform right now, and this will only become more competitive. So my links for everything will be in the description for all of the trading platforms for Redfi as well, and also my article so you can get started right now.